Dylan and I get a lot of questions about referrals. Should you ask for referrals? When you do ask for referrals, if you should, how, what should you say? Is there wrong ways? Is there right ways? And I'm going to start off by letting you know that I truly believe, I was actually just talking to my success society about this recently because we have a 12-month coaching program. I can be your personal coach for an entire year, right? $3.99 a month. It's something that I'm focused on helping agents and sprinting to success together. I love doing it. It's amazing, right? And one thing that we talked about in that success society is how the, the number one reason why most insurance agents do not get a referral. What do you think right now? In comments, I know there's a little bit of a delay here, Facebook, YouTube. What do you think the number one reason why insurance agents do not get sent referrals? I'm giving you a second to guess. The number one reason why they do not get referrals, this is proven, is because they don't ask. When you don't ask for something, guess what? You won't receive something. That, you know, crazy, right? It's a, it's a big concept. It's amazing that that's actually true. Most people don't ask. When I was a new agent and I did not get referrals, it's because I did not ask. When I ask for someone to do something, I have a better chance of them doing it, right? Mind-blowing. Most people struggle with referrals in our business because they do not actually go ask, proactively wanting to get referrals. People in our business that, that build their business off referrals, that are actively seeking for them, that are focused on it, that are intentional about it, and that actually go and ask for them are more likely to actually receive them. So that's why I wanted to preface this and start off all about referrals today, reminding you that you have to ask. Now, there's wrong ways to ask for referrals, which is where I want to start now with Dylan. The wrong way to ask for referrals would be something like this, right? Who else? Do you, do you know anyone that, you know, w w would like to buy life insurance, right? No, probably not, right? That, that's, 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 that's just a bad way to ask it. Or saying that, hey, you know what, I'm not doing very well, and if you send me some people, it'll help me. That's also another awful way to ask for referrals, right? Because, no, and, 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 and this is the part, this is the one I love. When a lot of agents are telling people, hey, I'm part-time in this, I'm really trying to get out of my job, you know, I'm really trying to make this work. I failed in it before, but I'm really trying to, to make it be a success now. You know, help me if you send all your family and friends to me, right? These are all wrong way you get the idea these are all wrong ways to ask for referrals because in these examples it was more me focused right it was more me focused it was there was a lack of confidence and people do not want to refer people that aren't freaking experts in their space if you're the guy that sells this product but is selling this product sort of and you don't really know much about it but you're trying to sell it why would i refer people to you you need that. That's why I believe riches are in the niches. If you're a life insurance guy, you're a life insurance. I'm not saying you can't cross sell, but you're a life insurance guy. If you're a Medicare guy or me Medicare gal, you're a Medicare gal, right? You 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 you, you sell home and auto. You are a home and auto person, because I truly believe riches are in the niches, and it's really easy to get, you know, a, 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 a mile wide and an inch deep, right? Instead of finding your lane, your road, and then digging in. So the same thing can be said for referrals. That's, that's the wrong way. They're not going to give you referrals if they do not take you seriously, okay? So those are some wrong ways. As in like, I'll give you a hundred, I'll make about a thousand bucks every time you send me somebody and I'll give you a hundred dollars, right? There's better ways to ask for referrals. I've given you a bunch of wrong ways. Hopefully you'll put some wrong ways in comments below as we hang out and talk today because there's a lot of wrong ways to ask for referrals. Now, the, the wrongest way of all, if that's even a word, is when you don't ask at all. That's the one thing that most people struggle with. They don't ask. They're shy. They're scared. And you know why the biggest reason people don't ask at all? Is because they do not know what to say. So hopefully we can solve that for you today. Because there's people in this business, there's people in the insurance business I know that are making six figures, 250K, half a million dollars, even seven figures solely off of referrals and networking. And, and networking is literally, the, I mean, you, you are searching for referrals 
or building relationships in hopes to get referrals, right? Because you're constantly in front of that person, you're top of mind when they think about somebody or when that conversation comes up or somebody mentions a word or somebody mentions something, they think about you, right? That's the thing about networking because there's two different parts of this. Networking is okay, I'm networking for later. Referrals is I'm asking now in hopes that I'll get something now, right? There's a lot of different ways. You can play games with it, you can give away money, you can give away gift cards, there's a lot of different ideas, right? But here's what I believe as I transition, Dylan, into what I believe is the right way to ask for referral. I'll give you a lot of wrong ways, right? Where it's me-focused, it's me-centered, it's I'm failing, it's I need this, I need you to do this for me, and this, and this, and this, right? It's selfish. Here's the right way. I believe it's okay to ask for referral when you have helped someone, when they see value, and, and you can do it before, right? You, you don't have to, but, but when, when, when they view you as an expert, when they get the sense that you know what you're talking about, and when you've proven that you deserve them, them to send you people that they know, right? When I feel like I've earned it, I'm gonna ask for it. That's just, that's just, that's just me, right? So the right way to ask for a referral is exactly this. And I've said this a bunch, but I haven't talked about it in this length as I am right now. So when I'm sitting down with someone, and they, and, and, and the first thing I wanna ask them is, Mr. and Mrs. Jones, did you see value in what we've done here today? Yes. You'll see I love trial closes. I love yes, no. I, lo I love getting yeses and pull pulling people in my direction. Excellent. I figured you did. We've had a great relationship. We've had a ton of fun. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm about to ask you a question, Mr. and Mrs. Jones. And when I do, someone is going to pop into your head. They always do. And I need you to do me a favor. After I ask you this question, when someone pops in your head, I just need you to tell me the first person to pop in your head. You can do that for me. That sounds fair enough. Okay, you're gonna help me out. Excellent. Who is one person that you know that could also use help with this? Who just popped in your head? They say, I, I, I don't know. Well, if you had to pick someone, who would you say? That, in my professional opinion, is the right way to ask for a referral. It's confidence. It's assumptive, right? It's confident, it's assumptive. I've asked them if they've seen value and they've said they have, right? We've done business, they like me, they trust me, I have a relationship, I've earned it, and they're more likely to send me business because of all of the above. But I have the first step. I, I mean, if I had to break this thing down, right, into three steps, it's once you feel like you've earned the right to ask, then you need to ask. That's the biggest reason why most people never get referrals is they do not ask. Third reason is when you ask, it needs to be a confident, respectful way of trying to extract one name. I also think there's another wrong way that I talked about earlier, that when you're asking for referrals and you say, well, let's fill this out. Will you give me 30 people that you know that can use help with this right now, right? And they're not gonna give you 30 names. It's ridiculous, right? So keep it, there's the KISS method, keep it, keep it simple, stupid. This is the KISS method of referrals. Is it easier, and I say this in a lot of live trainings, is it easier to get one referral or 10? One, right? So if it's easier to get one, I'm, gonna, I'm not saying I won't ask again for another one. I'm just saying that I'm going to put the odds in my favor statistically and ask for one. And when I get one, I may ask for another one, or I may leave some cards or some magnets or whatever. But if I can just get one, and then to take a few more steps and add on to the equation, when I get that name, right, perfect, right? So yes, you know what? Yeah, Cody, uh, I think I think my, my, my sister could see some value in this. Her name is, her name is, uh, you know, her name is Teresa, okay? Excellent, perfect. Why don't we, uh, why don't we go ahead and get, this is, this takes some courage. Most people won't do it. Let's go ahead. Actually, I'm going to have you do me a favor. I want you to go ahead and call Teresa and let her know that I'm going to be reaching out to her, right? And that I've helped you and that you trust me and that I'm going to reach out to her later today. Okay. So can we do that real quick? Is it, it, it just take a quick second. Is that, you, you cool doing that with me? Okay. If you don't ask, you won't get it, right? Cause you can get a name and a number. That's good. But if they can introduce you and set you up and you can let them know that, hey, I saved you a bunch of money and we had a ton of fun and that we have a great relationship now, right? Those are additional layers. 
to where you can do the small things to continue to get in front of people. The biggest reason agents struggle with it is they don't ask. And that, that would be the fourth, I'd add on a fourth step, have them make the introduction, right? And the fifth step, don't call them in a week. Call them now. Call them tonight, right? Get them on, time kills all deals. It is, a, it is true, I've, I've noticed it be true my entire career, and most people wanna put stuff off and not call them now. Instead, they wanna wait a week, right? I have it happen all the time where you, an, agent, an agent buys leads and they haven't worked them for a week or they let them sit there all weekend. That's a, it's a joke. It's not good. You shouldn't do it. And it lets someone know that you're not serious. The same thing can be said, for instance, let's just say Betty gives her sister Teresa, right? And I, and she tells her I'm going to be calling her and then I don't call her for a week. Good luck with that one. Okay. Any thoughts, questions, uh, YouTube and Facebook, Dylan, anything we got going on that we can, uh, Share, discuss. You're, you're mic'd up. Yeah, our boy Eric Dijon. Dijon. He said, uh, been using this genius way to ask. Got it from your website training. Thank you, bro. You got it, buddy. Thank you, man. Good, good, good. See, it's working. It's working already, right? Maybe it'll give you more confidence to act, ask assumptively because Eric is getting referrals all day, every day in Tampa, Florida with this method. Any other thoughts? Um, no. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's easy, right? The number one reason why agents don't get it is they don't ask. It's simple. You just have to do it. When you get a chance to do it, right? Went over the steps. We gave you the wrong ways. We gave you the right ways. We gave you what to do. But the number one reason why agents do not get referrals is they do not ask. So do me a favor. And when you get the opportunity to ask, ask. Okay? You know your thoughts, Dylan, before we wrap this thing up? Justin Brock just said, hey, Cody, how's it hanging? What's up, JB? Dude, you just you, you must have just uh, hope you're well, bro. You must have just cleaned the table today, or the, or the some somebody did, and then I just got fingerprints all over it. This studio table's glass. Did you clean it? Somebody clean it. Um, it was like spot free. Now there's fingerprints all over the place, but I didn't clean it. Yeah, somebody did. Well, whoever cleaned it, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Any other thoughts on referrals, YouTube and Facebook world? Um, yeah, we did just get some questions from Omar Rodriguez on YouTube. What's up, Omar? He said, me. he said, Cody, thank you for all the great content you provide. You're an inspiration. Question. When you call a referral, do you leave a voicemail? If so, what do you say? Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I, I, I do like to leave one voicemail. I, I, would, I would do two things. I would, I, would, I would voicemail and text, right? So when I leave a voicemail, I always like the uh, – I always like Tyson Urgency to it. Um, good news. Drop, name drop, right? So if I'm calling Teresa – right? Teresa, hey, it's Cody. Hey, talk to your sister, Betty. Uh, hey, give me a call back as soon as you possibly can, right? So I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave a 60-second voicemail, 90-second voicemail or whatever, two-minute voicemail, like vomiting or dropping. Like, I just want to talk to them. And I don't want to leave all the, all the information through voicemail. Just call me back as soon as you can. Here's my number, right? Hey, 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 hey Betty, call me to, your sister Betty told me to call you. You know, hope, hope, hope you're having a great day. Here's my number. Call me back as soon as you can, right? The text can do the same thing, okay? I like to keep it simple. I don't like to overcomplicate it. So hope that helps Omar. Great question. Thanks for the kind words. Thanks for the inspiration. Back at you, bro. Lawrence Blackman said, CA, always, as always, you're on point. Thanks, buddy. You got to keep it real, man. You got to do it, right? Most people don't ask, man. Most people don't ask. I, I was at a point in my career as an early new, new agent. I didn't, I didn't get referrals. I wonder why. So I didn't ask. <laughs> Or when I did, that was from sending out a monthly newsletter every month, right? It wasn't because I was asking. Any other thoughts or questions? Uh, we found out who cleaned the table. It was, in fact, Justin Brock. Boom! Justin, thank you for cleaning the table, bro. Dude. All the way from Tupelo. Man! All right, I'm going to fix it for you. I'm going to get in here and get rid, of my, uh, get rid of my thumbprints for you. Thank you for doing that. Also, can you check out my trash next time? Come on, man. Hey, if you enjoyed this, I got another one you're going to love. It's right there, click on it, see you in there. I'm about to go over specifically how to get better at objections, okay? One of the first things you have to do is realize that what is the number one rule of self? What is the number one rule